Everybody that's anybody in the music business perform live from Studio A. It's Columbus Radio at its finest. They like it. That's where the support comes from. I love WCBE, and I can't imagine Columbus without it. It's Christina Vane with her band and live from Studio A this afternoon. We'll have some tickets to give away for the show tonight coming up in just a bit. But first, welcome to WCBE. Thank you so much. Thanks for having us. It's, oh, you bet. It's great to have you. And we're going to be talking about this new album and where it all started for you and all these languages you can speak. <laughs> Four languages. So we'll talk about that and, and uh, where it started with Christina. But What's this first one you're going to do for us? It's actually the title track of my last album. It's called Make Myself Me Again. All right. Christina Bain here live from Studio A today. Tonight, show perform over at Natalie's. Details at nataliesgrandview.com. And this latest release, you just heard the title track, Studio A version of Make Myself Me Again. And uh, born in Italy, but grew up between England, France, and Italy, and then moved to the States when you were 18. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so when did the, all right. the music port part of it come? Was that before you got <clears> to the U.S.? Or? Uh, yeah. So the music part started in my crib, I'm told. Um, <laughs> I had this strange habit of like taking everything out of my crib and then eventually even all my clothes off and singing the whole time. And my parents would hear me like warbling to myself on the baby monitor. So I think I always just had a thing for music and I always sang. It started with choir at school and 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I started with the piano lessons, and then I fell in love with playing the flute. So music has always been a huge part of my life, but if you're asking about like the roots music and the slide guitar stuff, that came a lot later after I had moved to the States. Gotcha. Sure. Yeah. And so talk about working at the guitar shop out in L.A. and who your mentor was for learning some new instruments out there. Yeah, McCabe. so I was already playing guitar. I had taught myself slide, mm-hmm. but um, I met. I was working at McCabe's Guitar Shop in Los Angeles, which is a folk music staple. They have you know concerts and teachers and stuff, and it was a really great experience, and I met my mentor, Pete Steinberg, who is a... Total wackadoodle, um, <laughs> but he's he's awesome, and he loves to teach and play fingerstyle guitar. So Travis picking, which is a big part of my sound now, and I owe it all to him, honestly, because I never ever would have thought t- to learn that. Um, I was learning some, you know, Blind Willie Johnson stuff, so I probably would have had to learn it eventually if I wanted to play that stuff. But he got me going and taught me for years for the whole time I worked there. Um, he entered me in my first fingerstyle competition at the Topanga Banjo and Fiddle Festival, and yeah, I owe him a lot. So, it you can hear that in the song I just played. You know, mm-hmm. it's, it's uh, all over a fingerstyle, which when I toured solo was a way of making myself also sound a little bigger. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, yeah, I love this, love this new release and Thank Christina you. Vane with their trio here this afternoon tonight at Natalie's. And t- so you grew up between all those places. What, would you move around? Was it any military thing? No, no. Just... Um, a lot of people are like, oh, a military brat? And I'm like, yeah. no, I'm just a brat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, my father just uh, took different jobs, and mm-hmm. Europe is it is kind of like moving to like from Ohio to Kansas or something, right? It's not like flying across the same. We have the idea of going to Europe. It's gotcha. Everything's close by, right? Mm-hmm. So e- yes, you are moving around a lot, but France to Italy, like there's a train that you can get there in, mm-hmm. you know, six hours, and the so rail. the flights are like two hours. Yeah, so um, it all we just moved around and it felt normal to me. Yeah. Um, and I landed, yeah, in New Jersey <laughs> for college <laughs> at 18, and then I moved to Los Angeles, and then I moved to Nashville. Now, where's college? Where was college for you? Uh, Princeton, New Jersey. Right. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. It was all right. <laughs> it was all right. Can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> but did, did were there any music uh, classes that you took there, or was it just... Yeah, for... I actually really wanted to be a music major, but the major seemed to me at the time focused largely on jazz or classical music, and so I went through the grueling, like, uh, Music 101 with the four less you know four seminars a week ear training on the weekend when everyone else was hung over in bed and <laughs> uh all that and the crazy you know transcribing of like all the corrals and stuff like, thinking I was going to be a music major and then I had a bad experience with the, a flute teacher I'd gotten there and I just stopped playing the flute and I was really pursuing my original stuff and I was like you know what I'm just going to study something that makes me happy I studied comparative literature um okay. that's where the languages come in mm, okay. uh which is it's like global literature you just compare literature from around the world And I played music on the side, basically, and just kept writing and recording myself on GarageBand. It was a really high-tech situation. (laughs) Well, we appreciate you being here. And and (laughs) so the four four languages, which ones? Uh, English, French, Spanish, and Italian. Okay. Yeah. So cool. Thank you. That's, uh, yeah, that's not an easy feat, you know. Well, it is for you, I guess. My next next plan is to learn the language of love. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Sounds good. It is Christina Bain <laughs> here on WCBE live from Studio A. And we'll do a ticket giveaway after this next song that they do for us. What's this one going to be? Uh, this one is called How You Doing. It's also on the last record. And it was uh, the first single I released, actually. Jeff's in the video. My bass player Jeff is in the music video for that. And I believe NPR, actually reposted that video so very cool it's all for a full circle moment yeah <laughs> all right so how you doing
something I can understand. What a classic case of boyish man. What so many things that I had planned. So you come and go like shifting sands. Oh, how you doing? Tell me what you're doing. I wanna come on over to it with you. Tell me you ain't leaving. You must have your reasons. How you doing? It's Christina Vane live from Studio A, and tonight's the show at Natalie's in Grandview, and we have some tickets to give away for caller number three at 614-821-9223, and uh, the latest release, uh, who will tell us about who you worked with on this one. I know you're still Nashville-based these days. Yeah, right? um, I worked with Brooke Sutton. He was co-producing it with uh, John O. Ricks, who is the drummer for the Wood Brothers, and also nice. a wonderful producer and keys player and singer. So we had, I had like a power, you know, duo helping me out, and I, I produced it as well, like okay. technically, I guess. Um, as in I had a few ideas, very strong ideas. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then um, I had some guests uh, my friend Bronwyn plays fiddle, and she played on all the string band songs, and so did my friend Carl Smacula on the guitar. Um, I had, yeah, it was it was like a family affair kind of. I think um, I had a co-write on that song where Kyle Tuttle also played the banjo mm -hmm. on the song that we wrote together, which was a good one. And Tyler Larson played guitar on one of the songs mm -hmm. too. So yeah, there was a lot of folks in Nashville who helped out with lots the of great stuff. Lots of great folks on there. And slide guitar, tell, tell us a few of your favorite players out there. Uh, my all-time favorite player would, I think, have to be Blind Willie Johnson. Um, I just never get tired of, of that playing. It's pretty immaculate. I love the way Bonnie Raitt plays the slide. Yeah. You know, i got to mention her. But most of my inspiration is from some of the older stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, it would be... Uh, Blind Willie Johnson. Gotcha. It's my final answer. I don't even want to. I don't even want to muddy it with other it's stuff. It's my final it's answer. Just amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you all for thank being you. here today. Thanks for having us. Taking the time to do it. We're really excited, and we can't wait for tonight's show. So, yeah. first time playing Columbus for me. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's give her a warm welcome, huh? Uh, oh, the number to call. Oh, I already did that. Six one four eight two one nine two two three. Tickets tonight or for the show tonight at Natalie's. And, well, thank you again, and what are you going to take us out with? Thanks. Uh, I'm going to finish with another song off the album called Small Town Nashville Blues. Mm -hmm. This is more of a bluegrass feel to it. No, this is... Nope. Country well, blues. blues. Country <laughs> blues. There we go. Yeah. Um... Sorry, we gotta start that again, Bill Monroe style, because my guitar volume was all the way down. <laughs> there we go. Oh boy, just try that one again. Had so much to say, I don't wanna talk no more. You, you and your problems, leave them at the door if I lose. Let me lose.
trick for Elvis, she might do it for me too. Balloon. 